you uh, have a lot of things you can go through. But, uh, yeah. So we're gonna actually start playing the story with the Hunter for a little bit, and then we'll switch over to the Warlock for a little bit to play. Um, so, I, I, what I'm thinking, and uh, what's gonna be happening, is we're just gonna let the story play through, and I can let you guys hear it. Uh, I'm talking through this simply because it's just some uh, introductory scenes that, you know, when you're going on a different planet and such, so... I'm going to let the story tell itself, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. We called it The Traveler, and its arrival changed us forever. Great cities were built on Mars and Venus. Mercury became a garden world. Human lifespan tripled. It was a time of miracles. We stared out at the galaxy and knew that it was our destiny to walk in the light of other stars. But the Traveler had an enemy. A darkness which had hunted it for eons across the black gulfs of space. Centuries after our golden age began, this darkness found us. And that was the end of everything. But it was also a beginning. Is it possible?
Guardian. Eyes up, Guardian. It worked. You're alive. You don't know how long I've been looking for you. I'm a ghost. Actually, now I'm your ghost. And you... Well, you've been dead a long time. So you're gonna see a lot of things you won't understand. This is fallen territory. We aren't safe here. I have to get into the city. Hold still. Don't worry, I'm still with you. We need to move. Fast. We won't survive long out in the open like this. Let's get inside the walls. Okay, so for guys uh, who watch this on YouTube, who may be thinking, Wow, you, uh, uh, you skipped a lot of content there. I did not. Uh, this is just how the story begins. We, uh, are just thrust into it. We have no idea how long we've been dead. We have no idea, um, why we're... Why we were chosen to be picked up as a. I didn't bring you back just for you to die again. We have to move. Uh, we have no reason why we're alive, why this darkness is here. Just that it's there, and that, um. It's, uh, it's bad, and that they've fallen are after us and all that stuff. So, really, it feels like maybe they had, uh. Oops. I need you to trust me on this. We'll be safer inside. <clears throat> oh, I know. Um. That maybe it was all cut and it will be sold back to us as DLC, which I don't, I don't like at all. Um, that's a bad thing. Please don't do that. And it's my fear that games will be doing that in the future if they do that. Okay, I'm gonna need to find you a weapon before the fallen find us. Yeah, you do. Quiet. They're right above us. Fall and thrive in the dark. We won't. We need more light. I'll see what I can do. Yep. You will go find us light. And a few centuries of entropy working against me. They're coming for us. Here, I found a rifle. Grab it. Hope you know how to use that thing. Hmm. Promotion on the tracker. Yep. Hit him with my knife. And let's try. Get over here. Oh. More ahead. Keep it up. Yeah. I got you, Peter Dinklage. A loot cash. Let's see what's inside. Sweet. Trip mines. Don't touch them. I never found out what happens if you do touch them. Whatever. Oh. 
headshot. Dead. Fallen have a tighter hold on this place than I thought. Just a little bit further. Let's hope there's something left out there. Hmm. The Divide. This was an old Cosmodrome. There's got to be something we can fly out of here. Giant ship. Incoming. Fallen ships this close to the surface. Yeah. Oh. Pause for a second. Snaps. Knifed. Signs of an old jump ship. Could be our ticket out of here. Well, thank you. Oh, upgrade unlocked. Uh, nope. Let's go. Gunslinger and Blade Dancer. 
Blade Dance would look like it might be cool. Incendiary Grenade. Clean off. You. Yeah. There's a ship. Clear him out. Captain, All right. my captain. Let me see if I can get us out of here. It's been here a while. Hasn't made a jump in centuries. We're lucky the fallen haven't completely picked it clean. Will it fly? I can make it work. That was pretty cool. We're gonna continue the mission now, and uh, probably another cutscene coming up.
Welcome to the last safe city on Earth, the only place the Traveler can still protect. It took centuries to build. Now, we're counting every day it stands. And this tower is where the Guardians live. Okay then, so now we're in the city. Uh, I guess a few things to show you guys, uh, maybe that you didn't, might not have known. Uh, you definitely want to go to these people uh, every time. Postmaster will have different things for you. Um, sometimes after you come back from missions, he'll have uh, um, bounty leads that you can go over to the bounty board for. But I recommend before doing any missions or anything like that, you always go to the bounty board and... Uh, you know, as, well, when you're past level 4, or at level 4, but you definitely want to pick them up, because they'll, they give huge boosts, like, this one's Vanguard Reputation and 2,500 experience, 50, uh, it's the same thing, but works so good. But you don't get bounty access until level 4, so, you don't have to really worry about that right now, but... As a new player, if you're around level 4 and you want to get up there faster, go ahead and hit that. Um, what else do we have to do? Um, over on this area is the gunsmith. He'll have uh, he'll have different types of weaponry for you and uh, all that. Um, things for your ghosts to help you um, do stuff. Yeah. New weapons and whatnot. I'm pretty sure that all of your characters share the same money. That's why I have 600 something glimmer. Because uh, I don't remember having that before. And over here is the Cryptarch, which is where you actually um, can buy armor and you'll get engrams when you uh, go on missions and such. Um, basically, that will allow you to uh, identify the item. It's kind of like Diablo 3 in the sense that. Uh, or Diablo in a hole that you have to identify an item before you know what it uh, what it is and such. So that works the same for weapons and uh, weapons and armor. Um, and you get some pretty decent ones, especially if you have a farming spot. Here's your crucible handler. This is where you get all your um, PvP stuff. This is PvP items um, for level 20. Uh, and then over here is actually another Vanguard, or Crucible Quartermaster. Uh, he has vehicles, um, exchanges, material exchanges, uh, and level 20 gear as well. So that's all helpful to you. And then down over here in this area is your classes, uh, your head people. So the, this front girl is the Warlock. This one is the Titan, and this one is yeah, us, the Hunter. I think you could use it. Let me get this. Uh, and you can buy Hunter armor and such here. Of course, this is all high-level stuff for me, so I can't get it. And I need to be higher Vanguard rank to get anything yeah, else there. But now we can equip new armor and uh, be already. Yep. I can't equip that to level 3. And, uh, helmet. Gun. Down here is our different, uh, you know, emblems that we can have. There's our ghosts. I'm pretty sure we get new ghosts later on, so that's cool. 
But yeah, um, you are surviving. I'm really gonna end it for here uh, on this one because I want to get into some high-level stuff on my warlock. But uh, yeah, guys, if you uh, like this game, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you like seeing some Destiny gameplay, uh, I suck at first-person shooters, but hey, it's uh, it's something different from WoW. And, uh, it's also the thing I go to now when I don't feel like playing SWOTOR or WoW. Uh, it, uh, definitely helps me relax and unwind. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.